day everyone, Adam here going over and we've got Haley, Joe. And this week we are at Litchfield National Park. We've got a week here. The place is fantastic. Mm. Busy, but it's beautiful. We've yeah. got Sandy Creek falls behind us. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna see Mistake Creek, we're gonna see Surprise. Surprise. Ooh. The Lost City. We're gonna do the Reynolds Creek track. Yep. With a trailer. <laughs> we'll also see Florence Falls and Boulay Rock Falls as well as Cascades. There's so There's much to see. There's so much to see in this yeah. national park. Yeah. So we've got some time off work. We're just a regular family. Pulled the kids out of school for six months. Traveling around Australia in an old patrol and camper trailer. Yeah, we are doing school work on our own. They are doing some school work and we are having the time of our lives. We've been yeah. battling away. If you want to see any of their previous issues, episodes, I should issues. say. Issues. I love it. We don't do magazines <laughs> <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Um, yeah, go back and check out our series on uh, our big lap of Australia. All right, let's get into it. Thanks, okay. you guys. Yeah. Oh, remember, give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Cheers, and guys. Subscribe down below. Yeah, subscribe. Cheers, <laughs> Adam. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Adam, this is Larissa, we've got Joe and Haley, our kids in the back. Hello. We've taken six months off work, uh, pulled the kids out of school, done a, doing a bit of homeschooling, which is probably the biggest battle we have. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, we, we embarked on the trip of a lifetime. We're hitting all the, the big ticket items we've hit on this trip. But not the touristy ones, no, mostly no. the natural big ticket items. Items for us, probably different to you guys, different to everyone else. Yeah. But we wanted to see places. Well, we left places out that you could fly in and, and do a day trip or fire a car. So, places around Darwin and Perth and Geralds and things like that, Rome, even yeah. you can fly in, you can see all that stuff in a, you know, in a week during school holidays or something like that. Yeah. We wanted to see the hard to reach, iconic destinations that every four driver, camper, traveller wants to see in Australia. Yep. Please, what do you reckon? Karajini? Oh, top. Yeah. Cape yeah. Range? Cape Range. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. Cape Rodrin. Cape Rodrin. Kalgoorlie. Kalgoorlie. You know, places like Steep Point. Yeah, Steep Point's uh, right up. Springs, Reptile Center, Alice Springs, 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 You've got to see in the Northern Territory, you've got to see Litchfield and Kakadu. Yeah. So I know you can probably fly in and see them, but having the four-wheel drive and an off-road camper gives us the freedom to camp where we want, the time frame where you want. Yeah. And now that everything's sort of patched up, hopefully we've got confidence to, um, to tackle some hard tracks again. So we've just, we've pulled up to the first crossing, Reynolds River South Crossing. And um, it's not that far from here until the first spot that we wanted to stay. But there's a sign that actually says four drive only, no caravans. But then if you read closer, it says no caravans or trailers permitted. I three, can't believe they haven't had that at the start of the track. They did. So I guess the thing is with, you know, with Adam's back, <laughs> we're not driving back that far. We need to get there and we need to rest. From going overland, we've got Joe, Larissa, and Adam somewhere in the car. <laughs> We're at Surprise Creek, um, just camping here for a couple of nights. Dad hurt his back, so he needs to have like a little rest or anything. And we're just about to go to the pool. Let's go! Oh, oh my god! Okay, ready? <laughs> Alright, so we're at Surprise Creek. We are actually in the pool, which is only a trickle at the moment, but the water is beautiful. <laughs>
<laughs> Everyone's what? Very itchy. Everyone's very itchy. Uh, good morning, everyone. Damn. That was a great night's sleep, wasn't it? Oh. Oh, last week we're in the <laughs> caravan park, and we're not caravanners. We're not used to that sort of thing, and it was just noisy the whole time, morning, night. Um, yeah, car alarms going off. You know, it's people locking, unlocking the doors by mistake, and oh. Last night was the best night's sleeps. So yeah. good to be back in a national park, a proper decent national park. With good campus, you know, everyone was so quiet, you couldn't hear anyone. Yeah. They probably could all hear us with the kids all the time. So, um, the kids slept in until 8 o'clock, which is unheard of for us, but that's how exhausted they were from staying in the caravan park. Yeah. So, it's crazy. Uh, yesterday you guys had a great swim at the falls there. Yeah, we didn't really do too much proper filming, but it's beautiful. Surprise Creek Falls is nice. Haley is at the stage now where she's doing a lot of the filming outside the car. With a lot she's of doing drive lots of helping. Um, so, if the footage isn't to the normal standard that Larissa does, that's why. Put in a comment down below if Haley's doing a good job or not. She's I've... doing a better job. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so today we are heading all the way up to the Lost City. So we're driven up from uh, camp next to Florence yeah. Falls is, uh, what's this called? Uh, Booley Rock. Rock holes. Rock holes. And it cascades all the way down the rocks and you can find your own little swim hole and go for a swim. The water is beautiful apparently to the kids. Crystal clear. Oh, there's so many fish! <laughs> okay, so we're at Florence Falls. Gonna take the short walk down there and um, go have a look at this pool. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the kids will jump in and have a swim. Yeah, Let's... please, if you don't drop the GoPro and it smashes the lens. Yeah. <laughs> Not again. Adam? Well, Florence Falls is done. That was a nice spot for the, for a swim. The kids loved it. Uh, I just couldn't get in the water with my back with those muscles not being right just yet, mm. which is a shame that water. I put my feet in, it felt beautiful. So now we are headed towards the Lost City. So uh, these, are these, these places are just beautiful to look at Lost Cities. They're kind of like the Bungle Bungles. Uh, they're just, I don't know, something about them. They just, I don't know, they draw your imagination. They do out. Mm. Yeah, they're lovely to look at. I can't wait. Yeah, it's not too far from um, Florence Falls either, and but it is four-wheel drive only.
So for its size, Litchfield National Park has got so much to see. It's incredible how much there is. Um, we've got uh, a full week here. All right, we're at the falls. Tulum, is it Tulum Falls? Oh man, look at this. Have a go at this fall. Holy moly. There's a better shot for you guys. Oh. Big huge waterfall and a big swimming hole at the bottom. Well, you oh. can't go swimming in there. They reckon there might be crocs. Which sucks. Look at that. That is stunning. That looks beautiful. <laughs> oh, so, made it back to camp. It's about six o'clock. I just want to show you guys our camp. Um, we're down here at um, Sandy Creek, is it? No, Mistake Creek? Surprise. Surprise Creek. You guys should be used to this by now. I am hopeless with names. <laughs> I forget my children's names sometimes. There's Josh and Hannah. <laughs> so, a couple of little things I'm just going to show you. This is the, um, this is, we got two of these. We got them from Bunnings. They're, they're weatherproof. IP76 or 67 or something like that. Um, so probably in a little bit of rain. Uh, they got a sensor on them, magnetic base, and three AA batteries. And we've got all rechargeable batteries with us, AA's and AAA's. And we got a little charger from, um, where was it from? I bought it years ago, J-Car. I'll show you that too. So that's a handy thing, especially when we got the fridge out. It'll, you just walk past it, it'll just flick on. You don't have to worry about a light switch or any light. Real happy with that. We got two of them, all right? So sometimes we would camp somewhere it's a bit strange and not un you know, a bit unsure. Throw one on the bull bar and one on the roof racks on the side. So just a bit of security, you know? Another thing we got, real hot weather. We want to leave the door open. You probably noticed this mesh we've got hanging up. That was from, what's the name of that shop? Oh big one ikea ikea right you get a two pack it's like 10 bucks and we just got some clamps from super cheap we just hang them up so just you know just showing you guys a few ideas that we have save you money and real handy to have around camp i just finished my journal <laughs> what's this it's joe poopers, joe poopers. <laughs> that's your diary oh for today God. is it <laughs> <laughs> More like a journal, but yeah. it's not really secret. We had to leave the um, <laughs> the lost city real fast. I wanted to do a driving flight, but that was not allowed. We had to get out of there. Nature calls. <laughs> okay. uh, good morning, everyone. So, another beautiful, quiet night at camp, wasn't it, guys? Amazing. Yeah. Did not hear a thing. Crazy oh, cool. It's so nice to be able to camp like that where it's just so quiet at night. Yeah, finally Dad's going on the Surprise Creek walk. Yep, we're going Amazing. to Surprise Creek this morning. The kids are going to show me. Back's feeling a little bit better. I don't know if I'll swim or not, but Probably definitely not. want to check it out. Probably not jumping in. Yeah. Yeah, did you bring, like, the old GoPro? <laughs> well, no. Like so it's a short walk from camp to Surprise Creek. We're going to go check that out this morning. <laughs> and just have a relaxing day at camp today. Take three. All right. 
moving day. Yep, we were staying at, we were staying at Surprise Creek, now we're moving up to Sandy Falls. Yeah, so it's quite a distance on the dirt road, it's quite slow going, so we thought if you move further up, you don't have as much driving on the dirt road. Yep. It does take about an hour from the Bitumen down, what was the name of this road? Reynolds River. Reynolds River Road to our camp, so we might have another day or two in the park, so move a bit closer, it'll save a bit of time. And um, yeah, where are we going to check it today? Cascade Falls. Yeah, the Cascades, um, so when you get to the bitumen, there's two different roads you can take. Um, we'll be going up past Green Ant Creek, I think, to the Cascades and one yeah, day. Yeah, we're going to check day. out some of the Termite Mounds and um, yeah, find yeah. a new camp as well. That always takes a bit of time. thumbs up down below it really helps spread our videos we're not trying to earn money or anything often but you know the more people that watch them the, the better yeah um and tell us if you want to know anything as well yeah uh, see some pretty cool questions um yeah peace out it's been one day since we were at the laundromat in a caravan park <laughs> and developed this Stupid habits. <laughs> it's been more than one day. Up. We've got washing machines. <laughs> we just wear whatever we want as many times as we want. It's been three days, isn't no, it? No, no, yeah, it's been three days. Four days? It's been dramatic. Yeah, so Larissa's getting some washing done. We've made it to camp quite early. We're actually going to probably kick back here today and do the falls here this afternoon. Yeah, have some lunch. And, and then, then tomorrow go into the park. So we'll be here maybe two or three nights. We're not in a rush. So, um, yeah, we're going to enjoy ourselves. I've got the kids are having a play. We've got some Lego out, and I've got the life straw filling up the uh, filling up the water tank because we are using a lot of water with this heat, and we can get some water at this campsite. So we'll just fill it up, seven liters at a time. It might take half an hour to an hour or so, but it doesn't cost us anything. It's just trickling in. Nice campsite, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Just wanted to sleep in this morning. Oh, we wanted to do. I was going to sleep in. Then, yeah. And it then, just... and then we decided to have children eight years ago, no, nine years no, ago, no, ten, ten years, years ago. ago. <laughs> and that ruined <laughs> the sleeping <laughs> today. <laughs> Morning, everyone. We are on the Sandy Creek Walk. I think the, it's called Tainera or something, I can't pronounce it, but Sandy Creek, we'll go with that one. Yeah, about three and a half k's return, so hopefully my back will be right for it. Um, quite an interesting sort of campground last night. A lot of the weekend warriors are up, which is new to us on this trip, because we haven't been too close to any capital cities until now. <laughs> and um, there's people there. <laughs> they didn't bring their hammer to hammer their pegs in. There was someone using their body soap to wash their um, <laughs> dirty dishes in the sink. 
<laughs> so there was, um, there was a group of people that moved someone else's gear. They were in a rooftop tent. They moved their gear so they could get the last campsite. And then the bloke come back with the rooftop tent. And <laughs> very interesting sort of a. Uh, That's a big ant's nest, isn't it? Massive! That's about six metres tall. There's a pie. few big ones around here. Yeah. So. Crazy. That's impressive. What would you do if it fell over on the troll right now? What do you say to these things? <laughs> what? <gasps> oh. hey. she, she wants to torment me. Yeah. Kids have got their kids out. <laughs> I'm Banjo and I'm going to do you an episode called Banjo Bluebird <laughs> off Monkey's channel. So this is our camp at uh, uh, Sandy Creek. So you heard of someone talking about their camp. You, you're <laughs> talking about your camp now. I don't know why. It's just weird. So let me just tell you, up here in the northern part of Australia, it's hot even in winter. And right now, we've got a lot of shade of all these trees up above us. Have a look at this. We got about an hour of sunlight, direct sunlight on the panel. So we got two solar panels on the trailer and one portable one on the car on the roof racks. So with that one, we're just chasing the sun. Um, and let me also just show you why I got you. This is the water that we're getting in, putting into our, um, our live straw filter. So it is it is clear to a certain extent, but you wouldn't want to be drinking that straight away. So we're just filtering that. We're making about 25 litres of drinking water a day. And after four days of being in the shade, a lot of shade, Okay, what's the lithium battery on? It's on about 85%. So we're running the fridge every night off that battery, um, only because it's so hot all night long until pretty much an hour or two before sun sunrise. It's hot all night. Mm. Um, the one in the car under the bonnet, we just went for a short drive. It's probably sitting around 70%. It runs most of the, the two panels during the day, the portable one and the front one on the trailer and it runs the fridge and during the day the lithium it's in charge of running all the pumps uh charging up all the camera batteries the, the tablets the computer with the inverter so it's doing a heck of a lot of work and it only charges off that one panel so um we are sort of sustaining our our use with water and power but um we are going to be struggling with power if we don't take care Good morning. 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 Busy morning. Just done another load of washing for everyone. Mm. Three loads. <laughs> uh, it's nice having that access to water. Yeah, it is. Like uh, now we're on top of the washing, so we just got to get back into the habit of wearing clothes for more than a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good that we've got our tanks all topped up with the uh, the live straw. That's been so good being able to do that, not worry about our water consumption. And then, um, what else have we done this morning? The kids have been doing some playing. I rewired um, one of the solar panels through the regulator. Uh, just because we are only getting one hour of direct sunlight on those solar panels. So, I uh, figured the front panel that's not being used, I had a spare uh, solar controller, so I wired it up. So it's just giving us a little bit of a top up during the day. Yeah. So this morning we're headed towards, where are we going? Well, we're going uh, north. North? <laughs> we're going to cross the, the Big Creek crossing and we're going up to the Cascades, I think, and uh, 1G, 1G Falls. Yeah, we're going to check them out. Tomorrow we'll yeah. be moving on. Yeah. Um, so much to see in Litchfield. I'm really impressed with all the different places and yeah. variety of stuff to see. And the swimming's been amazing. Yeah. It has, like, for the time of the year it is, 
we've got water still flowing over those waterfalls. Not a huge volume, but enough to yeah. keep that water fresh. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? The uh, waterfall yesterday was beautiful. All right, let's get up to these waterfalls and check yeah. them out. I'm excited to see the cascades. Yeah, cascades. Yeah, that sounds cascades. good. Oh, lovely. The mic's not going to work. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the Cascades and there's all rock pools all the way up and little waterfalls and the further up you go the warmer it gets. Uh, we found this beautiful one in the middle of the day in the shade. How oh, Haley found it. And we're just chilling out here for a couple of hours. Hi guys, I'm Jeff from Golden Overland and I'm going to show you the Yabby. So just between some of the swims today, we come out to Bamboo Creek Tin Mine. There's plenty of old gear here to look at. Um, I always love looking at this old machinery and, you know, imagining how they dragged it all in here with bulls and, and horses and men bending their backs and working hard. It would have been a hot old place to work too. <laughs> that one hurt! <laughs> you bit me! <laughs> Alright everyone, that's, that's this week done at Litchfield, Litchfield National Park. Is the, place, done? the place is fantastic. Um, so much to see and I think I get now what Litchfield's about. Litchfield is about all those swimming holes all those magical waterfalls National and they park. flow all year round they do mm. and look if you're not into swimming i don't think Litchfield's for you but we loved it who liked who loved litchfield me yeah it's awesome i don't know anyone awesome. who can't swim except for people in wheelchairs we've had a fantastic week we've got a bit more exploring to do today tomorrow we are leaving heading towards kakadu yep so that's going to be kakadu. great make sure you stick stick around for that you guys want to know anything about our gear we're running Anything that we've been using or, or anything that we do, in the let us know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up, really helps us out. I hope you guys like the video. Thanks, guys. Dad, if you're seeing this, don't put it on YouTube. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, this is a beautiful falls behind me, not this crazy, <laughs> not, this crazy kid. not this crazy kid. What? GoPro. GoPro, kind stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Beep, 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 beep. beep.